All right, so our next font type is script fonts. Script fonts are generally like handwritten fonts, um, curly fonts, and childlike fonts. And they don't have a lot of consistency from letter to letter. And they were created so that you can give more of an elegant feel. Um, originally was why they were created. And then they transformed into being more handwritten and childlike as well. So now you have a couple different types. So when we think of script fonts, we think of fonts where you are having very curly curly letters usually, or the letters are running into each other, um, more of your cursive style, even if the letters aren't necessarily in cursive. And when we talk about the different types of script fonts, we're looking at more of a handwritten kind of font. Um, and these have really become popular in the last five to six years being that a lot of people are using these for their companies to give it more of a personal touch. So those types of fonts are just giving and invoking the feelings of creativity, amusement, and personal touches and personality. Then you have fonts that are more elegant. They're curly, they're definitely in cursive most of the time, or they're trying to emulate cursive, and the letters are usually connected across the board. These fonts give the feeling of elegance, sophistication, as well as romance, because they're used a lot in wedding invitations and those kinds of things. And our last type of script font is more of your childlike fonts um, that have different um, ways that they can be written with swirls and icons and those kinds of things, but definitely more of that childlike feel to it, which gives it not just the childlike portion of it, but that amusement feel as well as also a romantic feel for nostalgia. Um, and so when I say nostalgia, I'm thinking like when you're an older individual and you're trying to be nostalgic about your childhood in ways, and that's actually not just nostalgia, but a romance about your childhood. So um, you have, when you're working with these fonts that they're usually doing like feminine, they're trying to invoke femininity, intrigue, luxury, or become friendly and personable or Fun and childlike. So you'll see that these are used actually in a wide variety of ways depending on what type of script font is being used, like in luxury brands and high-end restaurants, but also on Valentine's cards and weddings invitations are very common for these, as well as cereal and soft drinks. And the handwritten ones that have become more popular in the past, or past six to seven years, are actually being used more often over a wide range of companies to give that personal touch. So I would say that that was handwritten fonts have been showing up in every form of business depending on, and it doesn't depend on if it's a feminine brand or a masculine brand, or if they're providing technology needs or manufacturing. We're seeing it across the board everywhere. So some examples would be like the Coca-Cola font, the Walt Disney font, which is based off of Walt Disney's actual handwriting, which is super childlike. Um, the personal luxury brand of Ray-Ban, which is also a signature. Reese's, which is more of like a treat. It's playful. You have Pinterest, which is a more personal and creative brand. And so it's about that creativity and personality. And then you can get into the romantic and elegant portions of it, like with perfumes and colognes we see. We see with a lot of high-end luxury brands, they're using those very sophisticated script fonts.